I promised you earlier on that I'm going to show you how to create an estimate or a quotation using web apps. First of all, you have to make sure you have signed up for a free account on web app and log into your dashboard. Go under sales and select estimates. Once you're here, you're going this page is going to display all the quotations that you have created. So for me, I have created two quotations already here. And for I want to create a new quotation, I'm going to head over create an estimate. You can change this one to the your favorite name you want to call your quotation, maybe in your native language. I will change mine to quotation. I input the quotation number, but by default, the quotation number increases as per the number of quotations that you've created. Then let us add a customer. You can add from existing customers or you can just click add new customer to add a new customer that does not exist on your database. So I will choose from one of the existing customers. Let me choose Double City Limited. The information of your customer will be displayed here. To change this, you will go to customers and then change the customer contacts or details and then the currency you can change the currency to your currency i from kenya i will leave it to kenya shillings and then the date your quotation has been created and the date you want it to expire i will leave it default the subheading and the footer what you want to be to appear at the footer let me say thank you for thanks for your consideration We give you the best. We will give you the best services. Full stop. And from there now, let's go on and start adding items. So I will click over here and I will add an item. So let me say the item is called yeah you can just input anything like branding branding and then price i'll go to sales then price i'll choose uh, i do my branding at five dollars five hundred shillings and then description the price for branding any material any material per millimeter square and then once you are finished click add product you can still add another product I will choose the, the existing products here so once you have added your products they will appear here so let me just add as many as possible okay. once you are done so my items are already here with their prices and I can change quantity for example the video can change uh, five items and automatically to calculate to 3750,000 and the total price is 6,900 Kenyan shillings once I'm done just click save create a successful create estimate number three so oh, thank you your quotation has already been created you can now send your quotation to your client so this is how it will appear and also you can once this quotation has been approved by your client you can easily convert it to an invoice and send it to your client claiming for payment also you can change the view of your quotation using the templates available so for now this is how it looks but you can change the layout using so that it can look differently 
and once you are done you can now download or print your quotation then send it to your client so you find that uh, it's easy to do all this yeah, it's easy to create invoices on web app uh, as I had explained earlier on using my first video on web apps and you saw how it was fast to create invoices and as I said that you do not need any graphic designer to help you create this save money for hiring graphic designers but it's also good if you want to hire them it's up to you but to save time you can use web apps to create your invoices it's faster it's time saving and it's cheap can save you some bucks and uh, I think I will stop there and if you if you think if you are uh, if uh, <laughs> oh, sorry uh, yeah subscribe to my channel for more more updates that are coming and uh, also like this video and share to other channels too thank you for watching till next time bye